Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Floss Tube number 7. So this is She Empowered and I'm Bernadette and I'm coming back to you um, with another Floss Tube. I haven't made one of these for some weeks, if not months actually. Um, it doesn't mean I haven't been working on my cross stitching. Um, I just uh, didn't film anything basically. Um, I have a couple of up updates but um, I had one particular one, so basically today is going to be an update on my whips, not all of my whips, because that would, would take me, um, <laughs> not half an hour or how long this video will be, it would take me a whole day of filming. So the last time I think I mentioned it in the last video I put up. Um, ignore my hair because I just washed it and it's, it looks a bit... Anyway, I just washed it. <laughs> Letting it air dry. Going all natural. So, um, I had this beautiful, so in love with... Um, let me put that... Um, cross stitch. This is called a whole lot of latte. Um, it is so beautiful. It's so pretty and so colorful. And unfortunately, this was supposed to be the ready. Now the thing is here. I love cross stitching. I adore cross stitching, but I hate back stitching. And this is all that's left. There's a couple of backstitching I already started. I don't know whether you can see that I've already actually started on my backstitching, but I thought this didn't have that much because of the ba black background. Well, I was wrong. It's full of backstitch and uh, I need to get onto it and do it and finish it and hang it up because I really really love this design and that and this would be my first 2023 finish now I watch a lot of um, floss tubers out there and I'm blown away with the amount of, of projects they finish within a year I'm lucky to finish one <laughs> Having said that, I work on so many um, at one given time um, that the reason for that is so that I don't get bored because I get bored very, very, very quickly and very easily. Um, I don't have a very long attention span. Probably it's a little bit of ADHD, I guess. But anyway, um, that's that's the first one. And that should be up and ready for next time. I know I said this in the last floss tube, but um, I'm going to commit myself to you to have it ready. That's the first one. Next one. Okay, so this I was very excited about. I did an unboxing of this one. Uh, hello? Okay, didn't want to open. Um, this is so so beautiful so let me find the picture so that there it is so it's um, it's a couple on a train it's a cross stitch by Luca S um, I really really love the way they prepare their kits and the way they Put the thread i did an unboxing you can i, I will um put it in the description or attach it somewhere up here um for you to see uh, basically i i i like the whole thing unfortunately um unless i'm in england um and ask them to ship it to my boyfriend's place i will not be purchasing anymore 
for the simple reason that this took ages to come to Malta. Um, ever since Brexit, the, I don't know if it has anything to do with Brexit or the war or COVID, I don't know. But the postage has become slow, expensive and not worth it, basically. Um, especially not worth, I mean, I don't mind waiting, but especially the additional costs at customs just because it's not an EU country. It's, it, it makes it not worth it. Um, yeah, but this is a very, very beautiful one. This has a very special meaning to me and my partner. And that was the main reason I got this design. And I'm going to tell you where I am at. Um, this is on... If, if I... Yes, it's on an 18 Ida. 18 count. So it will be very nice so I don't know whether you do the same like I do when I have a design I most of the time I always start in the middle and I put a little arrow right there so that I don't make some stupid mistake like continuing the project in that manner or turning it around so and this is where I am at it's I'm I've just started this, so I know I've got a long way to go, but I'm enjoying this, this design. And what I was telling you earlier is, look, look at the way the thread comes in the, in the kit. So it's all ready for you. And you've got these little, um, you've got the, the notch here where you can pass through the thread. And you've got a little hole there where you can thread the piece of thread that you've already snipped from the hole thread there. Um, I find that very, very helpful and makes it easier to start a project because I find that certain um, kits the last one I had that frustrated me a lot was from Dimensions. I don't know if they're all like that, but I believe they're not because I've had other um, Dimension kits. They weren't like that at all, um, where you get the bundle of the, of the thread and you just have to separate it and basically guess, especially um, if you have a lot of um, colors that are within the same shade um, you know like a variety of orange hues or yellow hues and you have to literally guess which symbol refers to which hue or color and I don't like doing that because I'm just scared I'm gonna mess it up basically um, I hate that I, I, I hate when I come across kits like that they remove the fun out of starting a project if you know what I mean Okay, so this is an old one, but a very nice one. This is called Elegance, and this is by Vervaco. It's a very, very beautiful design. I showed you this a couple of times, and we're, we're advancing. We're advancing. Not enough, but... <laughs> you know how it goes? I've got all this thread running here. There it is. It's shaping up, It's we have a shape there. So, yeah, let's not give up. I'm loving this. And I was thinking because she, the design is of an elegant lady with her bare back. I don't know, but it reminds me of before you go for a shower. And I was really thinking of um, having this hanging in my shower but then I thought that wouldn't be too good for because of the dampness that you get in a shower room so maybe not I'm not sure we'll see I haven't decided yet but that's another whip okay okay this is another one one of another favorite this is um by heritage crafts and it's called I don't do mornings Absolutely. 
I don't do mornings. And okay, so for some reason, this phone is driving me crazy. So it either um, heats up or just stops my videos in the middle. I mean, I thought I was ready filming all my, my floss tube and there it just decided to stop. Okay, so let's, let's continue. So I was showing you, let me see, because it's, I've shown you, okay. I was at showing you this one. The I don't do mornings. Yeah, L let's do this again. I really need to buy a vlogging camera, I think, because my mobile keeps heating up or running out of space. And I don't know, I don't realize because the camera is turned the other way because otherwise it could be very low quality. So I can't see what I'm filming. It's very frustrating. Okay, so this is where I am at. And I know you can't see the difference between the cushion and the cat. And that's because obviously the cross, the sorry, the back stitching is what's gonna give it life. Um, and this might be my second finish for 2023, hopefully. Um, yeah, the next um, project is one of my easy ones. This is by Joy Sunday, and this is the design. It's like a Halloween y house, sort of. This is extremely easy because it's, a, it's on 14 count. And I haven't worked much on this one. Um, it's, the, it's, it's, it's the least one I've worked on. Um, even though it's very easy, but I don't know why. You know, sometimes you just... Um, you're not in the mood for a certain project. I don't know what it is. Um, and you just find yourself grabbing the same project. I do that a lot, um, but currently what I'm showing you is what's, what's on rotation. So these I am working on, but I have that's the least one that I've worked on. And the last one is by far my most favorite that I'm working on right now. There, there are many reasons why. First of all, look at that beautiful, gorgeous pattern, guys. This is going to be one of my biggest projects. It's huge. Um, I don't know if I have the size somewhere. Um, no. But I know it's big. It's some half meter by half meter, which would be 50 by 50 centimeters. Or more. I think it's more than that. I'll show you the, um, the whole Ida that I'm working on. I'm working on... It's 18 count and what I love about it is I'm using this beautiful blue thread by DMC, the 789, the number 789 and to show you. And yeah, it's a beautiful blue color and the whole thing is in that color. It's so, although you have to be very, very careful when you're working, working this, because if you make a mistake, you can't really cover it up. Um, because as you can see, there are spacing in between, which would, um, I don't think it would look good if you make a mistake. But I love that you can keep on going in the same color and no needing to fret on changing the the color of the thread and this is where I am at. Uh, can you see that? That's so nice. I'm really proud of this one. And let me try and show you, demonstrate to you how big this pattern is gonna be. 
Can you get an idea of how big this is? Yeah, this is going to be a big one. But I'm happy with it. It's gonna take me ages, I know. Still, I know I'm gonna enjoy it. So that was my last whip to show you and share with you. And I have right now two, three, four, five. I have six whips on rotation. I have two that are close to ending, so they should be definitely uh, finishes for 2023. Um, the whole lot of letter just needs a little bit of backstitching and it's done when I decide to put my mind to it and do it. And um, the I don't do mornings, the cat on the cushion has just a couple of more cross stitching on it and a little bit of backstitch as well. And that would be ready as well. Um, I don't know if any of you are like me and hate doing backstitching even though it's part of the cross stitching. The cross stitch, the back stitching sometimes gives life to the design, so I have to get into it. But anyway, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. So that's all I had to you. I, that's all I had to show you today. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope I didn't bore you with all the same, because sometimes I feel like I'm showing the same thing, but I, I am progressing. Um, hopefully you can see that um, and thank you for stopping by thank you for watching this this video and until the next one bye bye and take care